The indelible scars of war are everywhere here in Ruska Lazova. In the villages that surround Kharkiv, the majority of residents fled the Russian advance. Their pets left behind in the rush to reach safety. Inside the medical clinic, a tank shell remains. 87-year-old Igor stayed. He recalls when Russian troops entered his home. They said, Granny, we are searching for a weapon. Granny is more than 80 years old. Where is she supposed to get the weapon? They were jumping over the fences, breaking everything. I said, do you want to shoot me? Shoot, I'm not scared. The Ukrainian soldiers accompanying us are on edge. We're told the village is mined. But the concern seems to be giving away troop positions, tactics or anything that may cast a shadow over what's happened here. We can only get access to villages like this with a military escort and we're told what we can and cannot film. The Ukrainians have managed to push out Russians from places like this, which means that Kharkiv city is now a little safer for its residents. A site that would not have been possible a month ago. A third of the residents had left, the rest slept in shelters. No place in the city was considered safe. All that has now changed. People are walking outside. We were at this park last week and it was empty. We thought we weren't allowed to be outside. Kharkiv is coming back to normal life. You can see that life is still going on. War is war, but we must live. The constant sound of the city being pounded seems like a distant memory. The Russian military can still target Kharkiv with missiles, but they're too far out to shell it. Air raid sirens can still be heard daily, but residents are undeterred. Kharkiv is quiet now, no shootings. Our soldiers are protecting us. Glory to Ukraine. I wish everybody would come back alive from the war and all Russian troops go back to their country and never come back. It's our Ukrainian land and we will fight for it. Kharkiv is slowly returning to some semblance of normality, even if the war is not over. Asad Beg, Al Jazeera, Kharkiv.